Hi, I'm Private Dexter Griff from the popular web series Red vs. Blue. And I'm Private Simmons from the same show. Many of you are probably thinking to yourself, Man, I love Red vs. Blue, and I love purchasing Red vs. Blue DVDs for myself and several of my friends. But then what are you supposed to do? I mean, how do you get more Red vs. Blue in your life? Besides the t-shirts. Right. And the action figures. Exactly. Where else can you go to get an authentic Red vs. Blue experience? Did you know that the popular web series Red vs. Blue is based on the multiplayer world of the Xbox game Halo? Shocking, I know. Not many people have heard of it. What's even more shocking is that there's an entire industry based around these video games. Confused? Well, you should be. Learning about new things can be scary, but we here at Red vs. Blue are ready to help you out. Today, we present our consumer guide to the video game industry. Step one is picking a video game. Luckily, there's lots of sites out there that rate video games for you. Most reviewers offer a numerical scale from 1 to 10, where 10 is the highest and 1 is the lowest. But what do the scores mean? Scores 1 through 6 are completely irrelevant, because no game ever gets them. So, that means a game that gets a 7 is terrible. So 7 is the new 0. 8 is also a terrible game, but a terrible game that probably advertised on the review site. Still very legal. 9.1 is a lousy game as well. 9.2 through 9.4 are good. 9.5 is great. There's nothing above 9.5, except for 10, which is a perfect game, and 9.9, .9, which is also a perfect game, but the reviewer doesn't like the developer because maybe he said something mean to him at a party or something. But even if a game gets a great review, is it the right game for your household? Luckily, each game is rated for content and broken down into several categories. First up is E, which is a game meant for anyone. Next is T for Teen. This may contain content more suitable for teenagers. These games are typically the least fun. Then we have M, which means mature. This includes dismemberment by chainsaw, shotgun decapitations, decapamemberments, severed limbs jammed into assholes or other holes, liquefications of a mammal, gouging of eyes, then shooting bloody eye sockets with salted bullets, the mangler, de-skinning, de-spining, respining with non-standard vertebrae, e.g. pork rinds, chewing, swallowing, and digesting of immortal souls, that thing where you tear a guy in half lengthwise and all his guts come out, and forced reverse urination. Can we stop that fucking horde already? Games take a long time to make, so it's hard to tell when they're coming out. But even if a game has no release date, you can still buy it. This is called pre-ordering. Pre-ordering is where you pay for something today and get something a lot like what you think you paid for at some unspecified point in the future. And if you don't pre-order, you might not be able to get the thing you want because other people did pre-order. You're basically paying to make sure that nothing bad happens to you on launch day. You may know this process by its original name, extortion. You can also attend a midnight launch, which is your way of telling the world, not only do I have nowhere better to be on a Monday night, but Tuesday morning is pretty much out of the picture too. You might think that just because you've made it home with the game, your buying experience is over. Au contraire. You still have dozens of purchases that you can make thanks to the addition of DLC. You can buy extra characters and weapons and all sorts of add-ons that make the game great. You know, we like DLC so much, we're finding ways to add it into the RVB DVDs. Just think how much better scenes would be with these additional characters. Hey. Yeah? You ever wonder why we're here? It's one of life's great mysteries, isn't it? Why hey, else? shut up, Griff. It's new Donut and new Sarge. What are you two yapping about? Awesome. So remember, kids, buying video games may seem like a scary experience, but just remember this handy guide and you'll be happy, safe, and ready to play when the time comes. Join us next time for part two of our series sequels. Parts 3 and 4 are about that too. <laughs>